missed in a little bit. Definitely thought there was going to be sun. But it's the Oregon coast. What do you do? You just get on it. Anyway. Seen one deer this morning. Pretty much in the same spot. Uh, Jordan and I saw it last week. Doe. Um, but the miss is making it pretty difficult to kind of reach out and glass some of these further areas that I'm looking at here. The, the plan is, is that I'd like to find the group of elk that we saw last week. Uh, but I don't really want to bug them getting back over in that way. So I wanted to come on this backside to see if I could f see them. Because they walked into that clear cut up there. Um, but like I said, I don't really want to kind of go in there, barge around, make noise, have scent, and kind of push them out of the area. Um, so I'm trying to do my let my glass and do the walking. But, um, yeah, I haven't seen them this far. They're probably on the other side, which I'm going to walk that road probably maybe well, maybe in the next couple of days here. Um, but I have a clear cut back here that I want to check out that I saw on my Onyx maps. Um, so we're going to go see. So I think we're going to quickly scan this, give this spot a scan again, and then head on over there. stopped for breakfast at a pretty good glassing point here. I got three bucks in front of me here and I got three bucks over here. This group over here to my left is a little smaller. This one over here has got um, a two point and then two three points. It's almost noon. I'm still watching uh, these three younger bucks. The older ones moved off <clears throat> down a draw. I don't know where they went. I wanted to put them to sleep, but I couldn't. Couldn't find them in the draw. So I'm watching these three right now. Um, and they're meandering. They're definitely taking their time. Meandering pretty slow. Like I said before, I want to see them. I want to see where they bed. Um, because I'm kind of fascinated with bedding. It's it's weird to me. Um, yeah, it's weird to me. So, um, I just because I can never really, I feel as though buck or uh, deer don't have like do they have like one place that they bed? I don't know. Is it multiple places? I don't know. You know, so, and I feel like if I could f figure out where they're betting, like a money betting site, um, definitely benefit come fall. Um, I've been watching these guys for about, well, in total, probably two hours. Right now, for about an hour, they've, they are just really slow. I think the one one almost saw me, or one did see me, but he didn't know what I was. Um, 
So, anyway. Yeah, it's almost noon. I think I said that. But it's been a good time, man. Real good time. Real fun. Tell you what, there's nothing better than watching animals through your knockers. I always have said it, and I'll keep saying it. I love my binos. I think it's because I grew up hunting the Midwest from a tree stand and love seeing the people on the programs. Um, glass and mountain sides look so cool. And now I'm doing it. So, yeah, good day today so far. Uh, seven bucks. Two, three doe, one bear. Zero elk. But hey, I'll take that over nothing. Okay, one just bedded. Now there's the one up at the top of the screen. So the one's bedded off to the left. You can see him moving. I don't know where the third one went. This guy ain't bedding with that other guy. You can see the other guy's head in the left. So I actually managed to put both of them to bed. The one sticks out a little more prominently here. Where is he? Oh, right up there in the corner like a pile of sand so it might look like I know what I'm doing but I'm a rookie at this western hunting stuff I mean let's face it I'm kind of a rookie with whitetails too but uh, it's pretty fun I'm just kind of sitting here like wondering how I would plan this stock I think I would have to hit this road down here old road logging road come back up downwind of him weighing him out I don't really know it's kind of crazy because this is only the second time I've actually put deer to bed the first time was in Fort Rock that was pretty cool um, but from what I can well, one I wouldn't have been able to see that other one if it wasn't for his antlers and they're pretty tiny so that gives them away but two I mean that kind of teaches you man they bed right down in these clear cuts and you wouldn't even think that they're here if you didn't Use your knockers to try and look for them. Just hiking out of here right now, but right before I wrap things up, three coyotes came out. It looked like they were pups. Um, came skirting around. Evidently didn't see the deer laying there. Because it was right above the one that looked like that dirt pile. So... That was pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna try to put these up on YouTube or something. I don't know. I'm just doing it with an iPod six or an iPhone six. Wee! But I'm a simple guy, and simple works for me anyway. So why not? I'll put them up. <laughs> 